Gentlemen, I'm not going to take any of her time up. Please, turn, please. please welcome this hurricane Val in, in Florida and its funk and glory, believe go. me. Val, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Little guitar, uh, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. As always, it's my favorite festival. And um, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It's just a, it's a great feeling to be here. I'm glad y'all are here. I'm sure glad I'm here. My friend, Sunny Edwards, and Valerie C. Wisecracker, and I like to play kind of environmental stuff, but I want it to be fun. This is a tune called, uh, I guess called Stop Running My Florida Home Into the Ground, and it's about, it's about, you know, I'm, I'm not anti-development. You know, it's so funny, I, Bobby Hicks had a big article in the paper, and it's so funny because he said exactly in the paper what I would said to a reporter a month and a half ago, that, that I'm, I'm a conservationist, and I'm not anti-development. You know, we all going to live somewhere, but, you know, there's, there's, a way, there's ways of doing it. There's a middle ground, and we're just, we're blowing all our resources, folks. And when you're paying, when you're paying, you know, $5 for that little thing of water, well, I'm preaching to the choir here, so let me just, let me just play the I want to tell you what's going on in my hometown, in Miami right now, North Miami. This is unbelievable. Uh, 30 years, there's been a Superfund site there, big Superfund site, and the government couldn't afford to clean it up. That's how bad of a Superfund site it is. And so now, 30 years later, the city of North Miami, our new mayor, uh, who also took folk music out of the program, uh, our new mayor has decided that they're going to be building luxury townhouses and condos on this Superfund site. They've already broken ground. And the whole thing is that the developer now is going to take on the burden of cleaning this Superfund site so that you can build townhouses and condos on there. Normally, you'd think that'd be a very expensive thing to do, but... Uh, he's, got an, he's got something experimental he's going to try. He's going to mix sugar and water. And they figure that the bacteria from the sugar and water are going to eat away the toxic waste from a Superfund site. So you all want a good Bay View. You come on down to Miami and you, you look at Biscayne Landings. Just make sure you got your Medicare and your insurance paid up. That's what this song's all about. mess around with our Florida. You may not be from here, but you're Floridians now. We're Florida sugar and we're raising cane, burning and slashing and trashing up your glades. We got a hankering for money, got more money than brains. Boys backwash that dirty water, oak and Joby's flood plains. Florida, Florida, I'm here to say, we're more than just the tail end of the U.S. of A. And I'm telling around stop running my Florida home to the ground we're vindicator industries mulberry FLA we run your food through radiation it keeps better that way forget about the cobalt or the nuclear waste here's a four-month-old strawberry don't you love that fresh Florida taste yeah I'm not buying no way around stop running my florida home into the ground anybody here ever canoed on fish eating creek yeah this is for you go visit miss ellie in palmdale rent a canoe uh, well we're the lights brothers and we got us beef with all them canoers down on fish eating creek we all string us up some barbed wire they'll run hog tied home floridians remember when it's Likes it's gone. I'm Florida, Florida. I'm here to say we're more than just a tail end of U.S. of A. And I'm telling you, big boys, stop messing around. Stop running my Florida home into the ground. Now, the whole purpose of the song is is to tell you that you can make a difference in your community. You can go out and march. You can do your little signs. You call the news crews. They'll come out. If you see something going on you don't like, get together with 10 friends. You can really make a difference. We marched on the Old Leader River, a little pristine place in North Miami Beach. And the developer was going to build the townhouses on this lovely little river. We marched and marched, and he wasn't able to get deposits from buyers because we told him this will never happen. Pretty soon he lost the land and went back to the bank. The bank went under. The land went to the Resolution Trust Corporation. They sold it 
to the uh, Carl Land Program Conservation and Recreational Conservation and Recreational Land <laughs> for 10 cents on the dollar. Carl donated to the state of Florida, and the state of Florida then gave it back to the Olita River Park. So that empty piece of land next to the Olita River Park is now a part of the Olita River Park. So thanks to the effort of about 30 people, the Olita River State Park is now twice as big. And you know that developer's son, Stanley Bauman, his son, Michael Bauman, he went on to be the developer of the Miami Circle. You know what I'm talking about? That sacred circle they found in Miami? So it's never over. You gotta keep fighting these people and their attorneys, but, but you can do it. You can do it. But they just bought a beautiful piece, the Rainbow River. I just heard a nice, a nice parcel was purchased for the Rainbow River. 790 acres, I like that, yeah. Well, the old Leader River still runs wild through Miami. She's a developer's dream, except for all them pesky manatees. Well, we made from Stanley Bauman when Margolis said they was robbed by environmental watchdogs on a 24-hour job. Florida, Florida, I'm here to say we're more than just the tail end of the U.S. of A. And I'm telling you, big boys, stop messing around. here how about that is Stan around gonna play harmonica Stan you get count of three one two three okay we love you Stan next time all right um, I don't know y'all know who Clyde Butcher is great Florida photographer large landscaped Everglades anybody know who that is Clyde Butcher he's a, he's a great man he was taught everything he knows by a man named Oscar Thompson believe it or not Oscar's a very very quiet man uh, he was raised in the Big Cypress Swamp. He knows all the trails. He is raised with the Indians. He's just, he was a great, wonderful, wonderful man. And he taught us all so much about, about traveling in the Everglades and taking pictures and all kinds of stuff. And he was just, he would lead the tours, uh, Clyde Butcher, every, every year. I, I want you all to come out, come out uh, Labor Day to Clyde Butcher's. And he has a nice uh, swamp walks and beautiful pictures and food. And it's just a great time. We have a real good time out there. But Oscar used to lead the... Um, the walks through the swamp, and uh, he died suddenly. Young man, uh, his early 60s, healthiest man you'd ever seen, and, and who knew? And, and Clyde called me, and he said, Valerie, we, we need a memorial song. He got 12 hours. <laughs> and I did, ah, oh, golly, you know? And so, so I, I, I was down there, and I was sitting in this, in the, the, I was sitting in this restaurant, and, and I'm thinking, how am I going to write this in 12 hours? You know, this is this man's whole life. How are you going to do it? And in come these, these two old swamp gals. And I recognize them. I said, well, come sit with me. And they came and sat with me because the place was full. And they said, well, you're going to go to the Oyster House Bar and play music and drink whiskey like you usually do. And I was like, well, no, I, I got this assignment. I got to write this song about this guy. And I, I really want to do it, but I don't know how. And I said, I got to write a song about Oscar Thompson. And they said, Oscar was our next door neighbor. And they start telling me all these beautiful things about how much he helped their son and helped him build a swamp buggy and all these people that, that Oscar had helped. And after sitting with these gals for about two hours, I went back to my cabin and, and I wrote this song. It's about Oscar Thompson and it, he's just, he's one of those great unsung heroes of Florida. And that's why I wanted to bring this song to you people today so you could, you could know about Oscar. And I'm sorry it's, it's, it's almost too late, but still, his, his, his glory should be sung. Oh, and I stole the line from a Will McLean song because I knew none of them would know. I was under pressure. See if you can guess which one it is. Oscar Thompson was everyone's friend. Oscar
Mr. Thompson was everyone's friend. Hear the Lipkin sad cry, Everglades birds fly, round and round and back again, circle alive and never end. But not forgotten. Oscar Thompson was everyone's friend. Oscar Thompson was everyone's friend. He loved the way this fragile land's heart beat through all its animals, flowers, and trees. If you needed a hand, he'd go out on a land. You could count. Thompson was everyone's friend. Oscar Thompson was everyone's friend. Hear the lift and said cry. It's a quiet butcher sometime. Thank you very much. You know, I don't do sweet tunes like that very often. But. And then the second time I played it, I was in, in Delray Beach. And I had no idea. I thought, I'll play this again because it's a little Florida thing. And, and I walk in the gallery, and there's some of Oscar's pictures. And I was so shocked. And then I turned, and there was his widow. I was double shocked. I mean, this is, you know, 200 miles away. And I said, what are you doing here? I'm going to play the song. I practiced it and everything this morning. She said, well... When these people tried to open this gallery, Oscar told them to follow their dream. And he came out here all the way from the Cypress Swamp once a month to help them work on this little cracker house to make their gallery. It's just unbelievable. Man. Music and music families, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Say Go ahead, say something. I got to take just a quick minute to say how much we appreciate Mark Thompson and his sound crew Thanks. doing an excellent, excellent job all over again. Yeah. I mean, these guys are great. They yeah. were out here two days ago setting up stuff, working hard, so it sounded good for y'all. It's great, guys. And can I have a little more guitar on my monitor, please? No, I'm not singing the Bin Laden song, because it's talking about you know what. It's midday. <laughs> Catch me at 11 o'clock tomorrow. They know they're not supposed to book me before church on Sunday. So come see me on the Cypress stage, and we'll do the <clears throat> blue tunes tomorrow. What do you want? It's a banjo, right? Well, sometimes when you're a musician, you know, you're like, you're driving all over the place. You're making just not very much money, that's for sure. And uh, your equipment's always falling apart. <laughs> Your guitar player's got an attitude. I mean, these are all things that we have to, we all have to, we have to deal with this. But when all is said and done, boy, it's nice to get home. And that's what this song is about. This song is about being in a hotel room somewhere like right over the state line, which is pretty much never where I want to be. Uh, I love Florida. I don't ever want to leave Florida. And uh, so you're sitting in a hotel room and you're looking at the walls and you're saying, what am I doing here? I want to be home. And you make the big journey.
thoughts of you run through my head. I'm restless in this hotel bed. Thoughts can't soften up this rock hard pillow. Oh, moon won't let me sleep, but ain't no sense in counting sheep when all I'm counting on is seeing you. No, I can't wait till the morning. Now I can't take another lonely night from you. I'm coming back, it'll be real soon. Singing hello, love, good night, Southern Moon. I'm coming back, singing the same old tune. Hello, love, good night, Southern Moon. So I checked out into the night. Man, your high beams sure are bright. 50 miles an hour is best that I can do. Got black coffee in one hand. I'll be choking down by the rain. The radio is what really gets me through. Coming back, it'll be real soon. Singing hello, love, good night, Southern Moon. Good night, Moon. You and me, we've been this road before. Good night, Moon. When every minute seemed like a lonely hour. Yeah, let's take off some of the miles. Southern Moon. Good night. 